What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to chop samples in the EXS24 and also how you can edit it inside the EXS24. So I got a, a question on my Instagram from uh, Life of Kashan and he asked me, um, he says, can you do a tutorial on chopping vocals and pitching them? So I'm like, yeah, of course I can. In this video, instead of me using a vocal sample, I'm using a piano loop to sample. But it's the same principles, it's the same uh, the same process, and yeah, just let's get into this video. So here's the piano loop. It's nice, it's nice. What I used to do is probably the long way, but what you can do is chop at each transient that you want. Um, when you when you chop it this way, it allows you to fade the sample, so you don't get that popping sound when you press the key. Um, but I'm just going to show you the quick way of of chopping a sample and uh, another way that you can edit it so that you don't have that popping sound at the end of your sample. So Control Z, come out of that, highlight the loop, right click, convert to new sampler track and you want to put it on transient markers can well, create zones from transient markers because this is a long sample so it's, it's starting from c minus <clears> one <throat> you can put it to whatever you want on your keyboard or whatever you're using logic's going to create a midi track for you you don't want that delete that press your keys job's done you've got all your samples on your different keys life of kashan was asking how do you pitch the the vocals or how do you pitch the sample it's quite simple you just go into your excess 24 press your key and you use that tune knob to go up or down pitch might actually make a beat from that that sounded alright still um, so you can go down in in pitch yeah, I'm gonna use this sample for a beat most definitely um, what else can you do yeah so if you noticed you can hear a pop sound on both the beginning and the end of the sample. So you can use the, the envelope down here, push the envelope, uh, attack, and that will take off the pop at the beginning. Release should take the end of the, the, uh, the release should take the pop off the ends of the sample, but it's not doing that on this part. So what you need to do is go into edit, Find the sample that you want to take the pop off. <laughs> take the pop off the end. Uh, click that down arrow. Open in sample editor. So I click on edit. Go to selection end. And zoom and find the point where the waveform joins the line, the vertical line. So I'll show you what I mean because it's, it's a lot of talking going on. So basically what you want to do is find a, a meet point. There you go. That's a lot better than it was before. So once you've done that, once you've found that, click out of that, job done. If there's any other sample that's doing the same thing you just follow the same steps and that will sort out the pops and clicks in the beginning and the end of your sample there's also another thing i want to show you oh before you before you come out of that click x and save and your sample will be saved there's also another thing i want to show you quickly is the glide that you can use so you glide just you hear that 
little glide as you go up. I just exaggerated it a bit so you can hear what's actually going on. Just get creative. I mean, like I always say, it's your it's your beat, it's your artwork. So you do what you have, whatever you feel is right for that beat, for that song. And that's how you chop samples in the EXS24. If I've missed anything out, just let me know in the, in the comments below. If there's a video you want me to do, drop a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'll just do my best to, to get that video out for you and help you to become good at using Logic. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.